Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today on Too Much Bricks is a how to build a custom Lego sniper rifle or 50 cal and minigun. Now this is my custom version of a real world sniper rifle and this minigun was a concept that my cousin Anthony came up with so big shout out to him. He is sadly not with me here today but more cousin collabs will be coming soon. Definitely be sure to go check out his channel AGL Studios. Subscribe to him as well as my cousin Ava's new channel Ava Grace and my friend David's new channel David Mello. Definitely be sure to subscribe to both of them um, they're great youtubers so definitely be sure to tell them that you came from here for subscribing to my friend david's channel and my cousin david's channel i suggest you click my channel icon go to channels and you'll see all the channels i am subscribed to and you can find them via there since they are fairly new and there are uh kind of be a little bit difficult to find them on youtube search but without further ado let's get into it we're going to start off with the minigun which is nine pieces and the sniper rifle consists of 15 pieces so we're going to start off with the smaller one first lay out all the parts for you show you how to build it and then we'll move on to the sniper rifle so without further ado i do want to say subscribe drop a like if you haven't and let's get into it so here are all the pieces you'll need to build the minigun all laid out for you guys it consists of two dark gray cylinders two light gray antennas one light gray one by one brick with two studs on either side one light gray handlebar, one dark gray clip piece, one light gray stud, and one light gray one by one tile or plate with a peg sticking out. Now these parts can be in whatever color you have available or choose, just as long as you have these specific parts. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your handlebars. You want to clip it into the clip piece like you normally would with for a Leg uh, regular Lego set, just like that. Next thing you're going to want to do is take your brick with its two studs on either side. And you're just going to want to stick it in just like that with the main stud facing towards you, the other stud facing the front, and then the underside of it facing out. Give you guys a view of that. Then you're going to want to take your stud and plug it into that underside just so it fills it in all nice like that. Then you're going to want to take your one by one plate with the peg sticking out and want to be sure to click that onto the front of what you just made make sure it's nice and straight with that peg facing the ground then to build the barrel very simple you just stick one of your cylinder pieces onto the front of what you made and then another one on top of that just so you get a nice long one for the kickstand just use your antenna pieces and clip them onto that peg on either side and you're going to want to make sure that those are spread correctly just so it can actually stand up. Now to help it stand up a little bit better, you can angle the actual handlebars down if that helps or just spread the kickstand out. And there you go. That is how you build a custom Lego minigun. And one thing you could do, this is just an option, is I personally stacked five golden studs on top of each other to represent the ammunition being fed into the minigun and you can just stick it on that open stud right there just like that so it actually looks like the best representation I would say personally of the ammo being fed into the actual gun and there you go and to minifigure scale I think it scales pretty well you can see that with the minifigure holding on to it and aside from that Let's move on to the sniper rifle. So since the sniper rifle is a little bit complex, I'm just going to give you one last look of it completely built so you can identify some parts now to maybe get them ready. And we're going to do this particular build in segments. So we're going to start off with the scope, then move on to the back of the rifle, then the kickstand, and then the barrel. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for the actual scope, you're going to need one flick fire missile projectile, two cone pieces and one of these little dark or light gray excuse me um, technic pins now again as I said in either color you want now you can just stick this on the edge of the flick fire missile projectile so it's kind of mirroring what's already molded into that piece and you're gonna stick each cone on either side for the scope and it's a very simple build just like that and there you go that is the scope of the rifle all done so now moving on to the back of the rifle here are the parts for the back of the sniper rifle you're going to need a 1x2 plate again in either color 
two cylinder pieces and one of these old battle droid blasters, speaker pieces, microphone pieces, whatever you'd like to call them. You're first going to want to start off with your black cylinder and you're just going to want to place that on the 1x2 plate just like that. On the top stud, leave the bottom one exposed. You're going to want to take your microphone piece and just plug that into the cylinder just like that so you have the stud facing the front and that uh, kind of cone piece kind of um, blends into the actual cylinder there and then you take your other cylinder piece and stick it on the front and there you go that is the back end of the rifle it's kind of hard to stand up right now and the scope all done now moving on to the kickstand now the kickstand build is the exact same build as the actual minigun kickstand minus the actual clip piece so the only difference to the one that we just did for the minigun is you're going to want to take this clip piece and clip it onto the back of the one with the peg and make sure that peg is still facing down. That clip will come into play later. And you're just going to build the kickstand the exact same way, taking two antenna pieces and sticking them down like that. I personally chose black antenna pieces. And there you go. That is the stand built, the back end of the rifle built, and the actual scope. Now let's finish it off with the actual barrel of the rifle. And these are the only two pieces you're going to need to actually build the barrel. It is super simple. You're going to want to take your cone piece and these long pole pieces with that little notch of molding there, that little lip there. And you're just going to want to stick the short part all the way into the cone until it meets the lip like that. And there you go. There is the barrel of the rifle all done. Now with the components that you just made, the back end of the actual rifle, the kickstand and the actual scope you can combine all these together and to do that you're going to want to take your kickstand in the back end of your rifle and just plug it in just like that so that's what it's going to look like take your barrel plug it into the front of the kickstand just like that so it stands up all by itself now and last but not least you're just going to click the scope onto the top of that clip piece as i said would come into play later and there you go there's how you build a custom lego 50 cal or sniper rifle. Now another option with this as we had with the mini gun is you can take just one Technic pin preferably if you're doing this in the same exact color as me a black one and you could stick that onto the front just to give the barrel some detail. Now I personally will actually leave that on just because I like how that looks and yeah so that's pretty much it for the sniper rifle and in to minifigure scale and that is the best pose I personally could get my figure into. So you can see into minifigure scale and in scale with my hand, it is rather large. But I think it personally, it would scale pretty nicely up against a minifigure. And that's all to how to build a custom Lego minigun and a custom Lego sniper rifle. Again, huge shout out to my cousin for coming up with the minigun design. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I do hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave it down in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you're going to actually use this concept. It would make me feel really great and would help me a lot. Be on the lookout for more uploads coming up, such as some more mock reviews, LEGO City updates, maybe even some nether updates coming in the near future. I hopefully have a collab coming up with my cousin, Anthony, from AGL Studios. Again, subscribe to his channel um, coming up soon, and I do have one coming out tomorrow. Hopefully, again, I'm going to try and get that uploaded for you guys tomorrow, and I do have some new ones I'm making with him soon. Also, I do have some Marvel mods or how to builds coming up soon, so definitely stay tuned for those. And I also, my new schedule as school is starting to start up for me again, um, I'm going to be having an update and news video coming up hopefully this Friday, elaborating on a lot of that. So my new schedule change as the time of the recording of this video, it is still Monday through Saturday, if you want to count Saturday, because Saturdays are streams only. So basically just Monday through Friday for regular videos. And when I stream, which is once in a great while, it'll be on Saturdays. And that's pretty much all the news. As I said, subscribe to Too Much Bricks. Definitely be sure to drop a like and leave down in the comment section down below if you like these two builds. And I think that's pretty much it. Remember, you can never have too much bricks. And this is Kyle saying keep building. Catch you in the next video.